Sometimes people don't reach out for help. And that's, uh, that's the real travesty of the whole situation. My name is Kalen Wojcik, and I own a company called Modern Day Sniper here in Eastern Washington. I joined the Marine Corps when I was 17, and I joined the Sniper program when I was 19 years old. The first two deployments that I did were training deployments, and so by the time I did do a combat deployment, I went to, uh, I went to the vicinity of Fallujah in 2004 for Operation Iraqi Freedom II. And during that operation, I was wounded in combat and medically evacuated from the battlefield, which then resulted ultimately in the, uh, the end of my career in 2005. You don't even have to go to combat to, to deal with the challenges of transitioning from one life to another. The friendships that are established as a result of those experiences carries on for a lifetime. And so when you are that tight with someone, you can't help but experience their pain and experience their suffering because you're doing your best to get through it on your own, but you're also relying on each other and not everybody makes it out of that battle um, alive. I have lost a really, really close friend to that and I've come close to losing several others as a result of it. So I think it's very important to talk about mental health. I think it's very important to talk about suicide prevention programs and reduce the stigmatism that surrounds it and show people that, hey, it's okay. It's okay to talk about these things. It makes me feel really good to know that the National Shooting Sports Foundation is partnering with suicide prevention programs to reduce the stigmatism that is out there about suicide and giving people the, uh, the, the courage, if you will, uh, to reach out, say, I need help and not be afraid. As a husband, as a father, as a veteran, as a business owner inside the firearms industry, I'm glad to know that the firearms industry is investing in suicide prevention. If you'd like to learn more, head over to nssfrealsolutions.org for more information.